Hello everyone, Reaper here again with another video. I par uh, please pardon the uh, not so well lit background. It's a rather gloomy day today with the window open, so I'm not getting a whole lot of natural light or really good artificial light. So please forgive the uh, lighting. But um, aside from that, I wanted to talk a little bit about you know whether or not you're very vocal about your collecting habits. Now I know some of you, some of you that I know, um, are quite vocal about, you know, you collect comic books, you might collect this, you might collect that, but I don't know. For me it's still something that's a little hard to discuss uh, outside YouTube, outside Instagram, you know, because these are uh, wonderful social media outlets for people to talk about different things, whether it's, you know, comics, gaming and any, and any other type of uh, collecting. But I found that comics and even with games more or less, you know, it's still a hard topic to talk about with other people. Um, in it that it's still maybe seen, it's still seen as something that, you know, is kind of for kids. It's not really as acceptable. Sure, there are movies out there, you know, like obviously like Avengers, the big movies like that, Batman movies, where people who are non-collectors can see these films and enjoy them and know that these characters like Batman, Superman, the Avengers, and all the other characters out there originally come from comic books. But despite that, despite that mainstream exposure, you know, to the collector and the non-collector out there, to me, from my perception, I could be wrong, that's why I'm making this video, to create some sort of uh, discussion about it. To me, it seems that still comic book collecting, if you say, yeah, I, still, I collect comic books, it's still looked at as something that is for kids. I don't know if that's anything that you still experience when talking to people, but it's something that I still experience. But it, again, it could just be the people that I associate with. Now, for me, uh, growing up, I really didn't know anybody that collected comic books. There were people that collected kids, rather than people. There were kids that collected uh, sports cards. I know sports cards were always very uh, popular uh, when I you know, throughout the years. I don't know how popular they are now, but I know a few of my friends. They were into collecting uh, baseball cards and and things like that, basketball cards. And um, no one was really into comic book collecting. As a matter of fact, no one was really into comic book characters. I mean, uh, I remember some of my friends back when I was a kid, you know, we had the Superman movies, and then later we had the Batman movies and everything else that followed. Even back then, my, my friends, they weren't into those Superman movies. They really weren't into Superman at all. Oh, only I was. You know, I liked Superman. I wasn't that into him, but I, I enjoyed Superman. And, you know, I was pretty much introduced to comics uh, from the DC characters like Superman and Aquaman and uh, Wonder Woman and all of that. So it was pretty hard, you know, even having a, a conversation about characters, comic book characters or comic books in general, uh, to people back then. Flash forward to today, yes, we have the YouTube comic community, we talk comics, we discuss comics, we make videos about comics, we show hauls both on YouTube, we, on, we, we share these things on Facebook, Instagram, and, uh, and other uh, avenues of social media, ones that I'm probably not even aware of, uh, boards and all of that. But even though you do that, even though we have this community here, do you still do you discuss your collecting with other people? Like, for instance, let's say you're talking to a couple of people that are at work or whatever, and everyone's trying to make conversation, and you know you you have a work relationship, not necessarily a real deep personal relationship with someone. Do you discuss when something like hobbies comes up? Do you discuss? Well, yeah, I collect comics. Do you feel comfortable bringing up something like that, or I collect games or whatever, or I play games or whatever? Is that something that you feel comfortable doing, comfortable bringing up? Um, for me, well, you know, I guess, it, you know, it comes down to, I think with everybody, it really depends on the person, of course. But, you know, just casually, is that something that you think that you can bring up?
For me, I feel casually no. I really do have to know the person to even bring that up. And sometimes even then, you know, it's, you know, I don't necessarily, I can't say that I've had a negative experience bringing these things up, you know, but it's something that really just sort of goes over someone's head. They're just not interest. The interest is not there for whatever reason. I can't, I can't imagine what, what, it could be a, a variety of different things. So I was just wondering if any of you have those same feelings. Are you technically in the, I don't want to say comic book, because again, it could go through a lot of different collectibles. Some people collect comics, some people collect cards, some people collect games, some people collect action figures and, and all these other things. So just don't think this is for comics. Are you, do you feel that you can express these sort of hobbies, these interests, with just people that you casually know, like it's say at the workplace or whatever? I'm sure you, you, your friends, your close friends know. Um, for me, not a lot of my close friends know that I collect comics. I just just don't share it with them. You know, it's just something that I guess was built into me uh, at a very early age that this is sort of not, you know, this is sort of on the fringes of things that I sort of keep to myself. I mean, obviously not through YouTube because if you're inter interested in comics, you're searching for comic books, you might come across my channel and other channels. But in everyday life, it's not really something I discuss with people. And because I still think it, it, to me, maybe I'm thinking of it incorrectly. Um, it could just be me. Um, it's still something that's on the fringe, especially games, too. You know, comic books are one thing. But, you know, playing games, you know, someone who is older, it may seem like something like, eh, you know, you play video games, really? I mean, that's just my perception. Maybe you have a completely different perception. So what do you think? Are you in the collecting, collecting closet? And uh, why? Is it similar to some of the things that I talked about? Is it other reasons why? I'm interested in knowing. Feel free to share in the comments. Thought this would be an interesting conversation, an interesting discussion. Thank you all for watching and take care.